Hi folks, this is All The Fruit and today I want to explore whether it is possible to harvest good, tasty and edible bananas in continental France. Well, France does have a sizable domestic banana production, but when I say domestic, the bananas come from their tropical islands of Guadeloupe and Martinique in the Caribbean and Réunion in the Indian Ocean. However, what about proper France, about France on the European continent, not some remote island colonies or departments? Well, if there is a place in continental France where you could harvest bananas, it's Menton. The warmest, mildest, best climate in all of France. Sandwiched between the Alps on one side and the Mediterranean Sea on another side, which you could probably see when... Yeah, here it is, the Mediterranean Sea on one side, the French Alps on the other side, also sandwiched between Italy on one side and the tiny Principality of Monaco on the other side. Menton has the best climate in all of France, if you like heat. As you can see, date palms everywhere, a whole street full of Peruvian pepper trees and they are hanging full of tasty pepper. Well, here and also back there, lots of citrus trees, mostly oranges and lemons. Menton is the only place in France that had a, a large-scale commercial citrus production for centuries even long before the climate change. Well, in the background, a huge bunya bunya pine from Australia. This thing has cones as big as melons and edible seeds as big as chestnuts. Well, if there is a place in continental France where you can find bananas to harvest and eat, it's right here. So let's look around what we can find here. I mean, nowadays even in Germany, bananas are quite common as ornamentals in cities along the Rhine, like Heidelberg. But we have only the non-edible topocho, uh, no, the, sorry, the non-edible Musa Baizo, or Japanese fiber bananas. Let's see, here around this monument there are lots of bananas. What is this bunch of bananas here? Well, no fruit at all. And this could also be a Musa Baizo. What about this one? No fruit at all. Also, they look quite puny, those banana plants. Well, over there on the other side of this monument, there seem to be some bigger bunches. Oh, let's cover my cheese. So, okay, there is a tiny banana plant hidden amongst the shrubs. Too tiny for our purposes. But here are a few bigger ones. However, those look like paiso. One of them even looks like this red variety, which is also commonly planted in the mildest parts of Germany. Well, if you can plant them in Germany, I'm sure you can also plant them in southern France. No, that's not what we are looking for. Well, why are we looking for bananas specifically in Menton? Why does Menton have the mildest climate in all of the Côte d'Azur? Oh, blue passion, blue passion flowers. Those have tasty fruits around here, but not this plant. Well, I already told it in the beginning, Menton is sandwiched between the Alps and the Mediterranean. The nearby Alps protected from the cold northern winds, which are called Mistral, and which are bringing frost from over the mountains places where the Alps are less close or less high, less close to the coast or less high, get a lot more wind and frost. It can get icy cold even in August when the Mistral is, is uh, blowing. And on the other side we have the Mediterranean Sea which acts as an air conditioner. And so for some reason, yeah, Menton has a much better climate than the rest of France. Well. Slowly we are talking business. Look at this huge bunch of bananas here growing together with this castor oil plant originus. Well, the castor oil plant is a wheat. Oh, there are some other banana harvesters, but yeah, I hope they left some bananas for me. A huge bunch of topocho bananas. 
grown here without much protection. It's possible that the gardeners water them from time to time, but not more than that. And they cut down old banana pseudo stems. Look, here is quite a big one they cut. Somebody is harvesting bananas here because, look at this pseudo stem. Ah, somebody picked the bananas already. But here, finally, we stroke gold. Look at those. Those are bigger than Cavendish bananas in our supermarkets. But they are also quite high up. Well, yeah, I've seen Topocho everywhere with yeah, less hands than Cavendish. But look at the size of those bananas. They are fully developed. They are still green, but fully developed. Now, how can I get some of those tasty bananas? Somebody has already cut off the male flower bud, and I think this was maybe some African or Asian person who is using this flower bud as a vegetable. Well, <laughs> I am a little bit short to get at those. I mean, I could pull at the bunch and the whole thing would come down crashing, but I don't want to damage everything. They are not completely ripe, so I'll have to carry the bananas with me. And so I want to, I don't want to harvest too many. Oh, and then this castor oil wheat is a pain. Well, oh, okay. Look at those good sized bananas. Let me cut how many, one or two. Ah, this one fell. Okay, let me cut the second one. Well, and this one fell too. Okay, I cut two topocho bananas. Where are they? Here they are. Let's look at them. Did I damage them too much? They still look good. A bit shorter than the average Cavendish, but thicker and also more triangular. Big banana plant, big banana bunches. Those bananas are incredibly tasty. I ate a couple. Um, I ate a couple really ripe ones in nearby Bordighera, or was it San Remo? No, I ate them in San Remo, and they were really good. Now I'm taking those two with me. Oh, one is a little bit bruised here. I hope they'll harvest proper, they'll ripen properly, and I hope I'll be able to eat them as soon as they are ripe. So folks, today I'm saying goodbye to Menton. You too say goodbye to Menton with its great bananas and lots of other subtropical fruit to harvest. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful and subtropical city of Menton. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.